Symmetra to her championship wrapping up. She's in the robe, just took the plunge. <laughs> Mallory Blackwelder got her LPGA Tour card today and will be playing up there next year. Wow, tell me about this uh, moment for you. Um, it's, I can't even <laughs> describe it. Um, I, I still don't think it's quite hit me yet, but it's definitely starting to get there. Um, I think honestly, I'm just relieved. Um, you know, since I won in Charlotte, and I think at one point I was at number six, and then it's like, you're just trying to hold on for dear life. And, you know, it came out and I was number 10 by I think $940. Um, you know, I missed the cut last week in Garden City, so that was definitely not what I wanted to do. Definitely had a lot of stress this week, <laughs> um, right down to the very end, uh, but I'm, I'm happy I got through it. The moment when whoever it was told you, Mallory, you're going to be on the LPGA, you're safe. Take me through what was swirling around your mind. I, people kept saying that, but I like I literally didn't want to believe it until I either saw it on paper or got the card in my hand. And even on stage, I was looking at Demi, and I was like, this just doesn't even feel real. It's just crazy. Next year, you'll be on the LPGA Tour. How cool is that? That might sound kind of weird, like a weird question, but how cool is that? Well, I think it's, I mean, obviously it's amazing for everybody, but I think for me it's a little bit different, um, you know, with my mom having been on the tour and, you know, I did have conditional status in 2010, but that really doesn't mean a whole lot. I only got to play in three tournaments. Um, you know, my dad and my brother are out there caddying and so I'm going to be with them every week and um, I'm sure my mom will probably make a few more trips out since the whole family is going to be out there. Um, but I mean, it's just amazing. I've, I've been thinking about this for so long and, you know, in my family, especially not that they've ever put any pressure on me. It's just that I kind of put that pressure on myself to kind of, you know, live up to what everyone else is doing and everybody's expectations. And of course my own. So, and you told us it's been the greatest week of your life and now it continues. You'll fly home tomorrow. You got a wedding on Friday. I mean, what, what, uh, what do you got to do to get ready or are you ready? Um, we're pretty ready. I got an email actually when I was on the stage, I checked my email and I have an email from the DJ. He's like, uh, are you going to let me know what songs I'm playing? So we're going to have to go back and take care of that. Um, I think I've got to make some more payments tomorrow, um, which obviously this makes it all feel a little bit better, but it's all pretty much wrapped up. I mean, we did a really good job. We hired a planner, which was huge. Um, and like I've been saying, at the end of the day, we're going to be married. I mean, the ceremony is happening and I mean, at this point, I really don't care if anything goes wrong. <laughs> well, congratulations, best of luck, and thanks for being a big help to us this year. Thank you so much.